All right, guys, what's up? Today is a special day. We got my dad, Marty, here, and he just got a new bow. It's uh, eight days from Utah's uh, general season archery deer hunt for us, and a little late, but he's got it. What you got going? It's a new longbow from Gordon Mori Archery. Going, Vegas. going traditional. That's all we do here, or at least you. He's got a couple there. I've got mine there. I shoot re, uh, recurve. He's got longbows. My brother passed this one down to Martin, and uh, I kind of took it over and been shooting it. It's a longbow, 58 pounds, 62 inch, made by Gordon Mori out of Las Vegas. I picked it up Look instantly. That thing. Instantly could shoot it well. Really it's like butter. that bow. So I started looking into his bows a little bit. And I found this one on the internet for sale at a pawn shop in Boise, Idaho. I saw the name on it, which you can't quite see here, Gordon Mori. What's the draw weight you're pulling on it? This one's 65 pounds. Ooh. Pretty like, stout. Like nothing. But, uh, I, bought that I could barely pull it back. I bought that one to He's stay got... in shape. I <laughs> shoot that one for hunting. And uh, after 40 some odd years of not having a new bow, I decided to have him make me a new one here. Cool. I haven't seen it yet. He, he asked me to pick out some woods and things, and I asked, told him I trusted him to make it. Just build it how he would want it. Open it up. So I haven't seen it. I don't know what kind of wood it is. Came with a free towel. Oh, got some kind of Indian blanket sock. Got the dad strength going. I could barely pull these back. I'm going to the gym every day, and then my dad doesn't even go to the gym, and he pulls them back like nothing. Yeah, Maybe. <laughs> All right, get a baggie too. Oh, must have a string in that. Bone tips. Yeah, that's pretty cool, oh, guys. Geez, look at the wood on it. Looks like it's a bamboo lamination. Pull that sucker out. Oh, oh Judas Priest. Look at that. <laughs> that's a beauty. Yeah, it is. Look at how pretty that is. Holy cow. It's a work of art, certainly okay. is. Look at here. Handmade. This guy, uh, Gordon Mori, that made it. Handmade for Morty Chagnovich. Handcrafted. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I asked him to do this. I said, I'd like to put my fingers on the front of the bow. Oh, good. And he made some there little go. indents right there. With a little thicker handle for my hands. Does that fit? Oh, jeez. Heck yeah. That's sick. He put his lightning signal on it. And look what he wrote here. Chuck. Because this guy also makes oh. bows for Chuck Norris. And I told him to make me a bow I could name Chuck. <laughs> Chuck Norris. Yeah. He put it on there. That's sweet. Heck yeah. It's going to be killer. Yeah. Get it stringed oh, up. Let's shoot it. Take a shot. We'll get a few shots in it now, see how it shoots. It doesn't have any string silencers or anything on it, but just to get a quick feel for what it's going to be like. Nice smooth draw. It looks like it's pretty smooth. Let's see a shot. First shot. This bow ain't never going to miss. So we're going to make this one count. Camera died. I had to go get my my phone. That was the first round. First round was a group about like that. Shot a little bit to the right. Not carrying the 
quiver on it like I normally have. So. No quiver, no. Really just strung it up and went for it, huh? Boom. That'll quiet down too once you get throw a silencer on there. That looks pretty good. Round two cleaned it up a bit. Look at that. That's two kill shots. One's just three and a half inches low. That's pretty good. Get that bow silenced up. Keep a quiver on it. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's already pretty good. These bows by Gordon Morey. If you guys can can buy one. You gotta buy two, because you ain't gonna be able to make them forever. Heck yeah, that's a good looking bow too. I'm excited guys, it's almost hunting season and I gotta shoot my bow more. I haven't shot it enough, but uh, I'm excited. We got some big bucks found. Probably a lot of other guys are gonna hunt them too, but fingers crossed they walk by us, you know? You never know about bow hunting, what'll happen. That's the cool thing about it. Eight days away. Give another shot. Chuck some great. Beautiful bow, there's no hand shock. When you shoot it, it's just like you just let go and you don't feel nothing. Yeah. He's got an email address, I'll put it up in the uh, description. So if you guys want to get on the traditional life, you guys can. I love it, I think it's cool. I think it's the actual way, you know, bow hunting should be done, even though I use a compound too. But I wish it was all traditional actually. It really makes you practice and hone in your skills. But uh, you know, Technology is technology. It's always going to change. So I think just use them all, get good with them all, and have fun doing it. Here's a clip of uh, me doing some compound shooting the other day over at the Eastern Arctic. So first three shots I'm going to take here are at 68 yards. So I got a feeling that'll kick them. It'll kick them left, but we'll find out real quick right here. check it out let me remind you this is my first time shooting this far in a year and uh, there we go not too bad right in the middle for the first shot second shot was there I think it went first second and third shot didn't get the white I felt it, it was a bad release on that that last one I'm shooting maybe get some uh, ideas for your setup this year so what I have is the Hoyt carbon spider this is a 34 inch axle to axle bow and what I got for my quiver is the tight spot quiver it'll hold five arrows up in there 
and it does a good job of holding them in. You can tighten right here and uh, so the arrow doesn't move, it pops off right here and then slides right off and uh, you can detach your quiver for tree stands, travel, whatever. And then uh, also what's cool about it, as you can see, it's not straight up and down vertical with my bow. So you can adjust it to uh, find the correct balance and I move mine that way a little bit. Another thing I like about this bow setup is my sight. Um, this is the CBE Tech Hybrid Pro single pin. So basically that's all I have to shoot, shoot with and have to worry about is that one pin right there. Uh, what I would do is get a range on the animal and then right here on this little uh, dial there I can move it up and down. I'm getting 126 yards out of this of clearance. Uh, it's a 28 inch draw and I'm, get, I'm pulling back 71 pounds so I mean pretty good performance really out of it. Uh, great bow. I, I do like it. There are I mean cons to everything. I feel like a little bit when I, right before I hit my anchor point, uh, there's a little bit of a, a turnover catch I can feel, but it really doesn't bother me, and it's only once in a while, so I think it's probably me rather than the bow. But the bow is super quiet, dead in my hands. Uh, I was gonna buy, I tried like five different brands out uh, when I was first getting a bow. This is my first compound, and uh, I tried a bunch of different bows out, and as soon as I shot this, I bought it like that because it was uh, just so much smoother, dead in the hand, and can't complain since. Shot my turkey with it this spring. Still haven't got a bow kill, though, of big game, uh, so looking to change that around this year, and hopefully this is the guy. Don't let my shooting today fool you, though. It's just that I haven't practiced in a while, so I got to get going on that. And then also for arrows, I am shooting the Deep Six FMJs. I've liked them uh, for for fletching. My buddy used that and he recommended it. And you know, I don't know how to feel about it yet. I noticed in the wind, downrange, you know, 40 something yards, my arrows will kick, but they'll still find their mark correctly. But they do kick a little, uh, which I don't know if I like. But when it's calm or anything like that shoots pretty pretty dang straight so that's what I'm shooting there the arrows do get really good penetration uh, on targets haven't witnessed it on animal yet but compared to my buddy's arrows or anything like that when I shoot with them I do notice that it gets good penetration so I like that but let's shoot some more targets